Shalom and greetings from Jerusalem. My name is Joan Lippis or hashtag Joni in Jerusalem, welcoming you to Lunchtime Prayer for Israel. You know Lunchtime Prayer for Israel is part of the Novea Ministries and therefore, say it with me, dedicated to filling the earth with the knowledge of God's glory. Well, today's title is Restoration of Truth, and you know we're in our series called End Times. Satan's most powerful tool against mankind is deception. Deception about God's character, his word, and his authority. So we're going to where it all started, Genesis chapter 3, verses 1 through 5. Now the serpent was more cunning than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said to the woman, Has God indeed said that you shall not eat of every tree of the garden? Coming against his word. And the woman said to the serpent, We may eat the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the middle of the garden, God has said, You shall not eat it, nor shall you touch it, lest you die. You see, we've got a problem here with God's word. And the serpent said to the woman, You will not surely die, for God knows that in the day that you eat of it, your eye will be opened and you will be like God, knowing good from evil. So here we have an attack on God's character, his word, and his authority. Eve was tempted, most of all because she wanted the authority. She wanted to be like God. And mankind has been deceived and has tried to replace God ever since. In the land of Shinar, Nimrod tried to build a city and a tower reaching to heaven to make a name for themselves. That's in Genesis 11, 1 through 5. But God intervened, confused their language, and scattered the people around the world. Therefore, the place is called Babel, meaning confusing. And from Babel, we get Babylon. And Babylon has become the symbol of wickedness and evil equals and false religion because wickedness and evil results in false religion contradicting God's character, God's word, and his authority, which God will destroy, restoring truth. So we want to read from Zechariah 5, verses 5 through 7. Then the angel who talked with me came out and said to me, Lift your eyes now and see what this is that goes forth. So I asked, What is it? And he said, it is a basket going forth. And he also said, this is their resemblance throughout the earth. Here is a lead disc lifted up, and this is a woman sitting inside the basket. Then he said, this is wickedness. And he thrust her down into the basket and threw the lead cover over its mouth. Then I raised my eyes and looked and there were two women coming with the wind in their wings, for they had the wings like a stork, and they lifted up the basket between heaven and earth. So I said to the angel who talked to me, where are they carrying the basket? And he said to me, to build a house for it in the land of Shinar. When it is ready, the basket will be set there. In other words, they're moving wickedness, false religion, and they're going to set it down in Babylon. Now, we can be sure that God will rid the earth of that wickedness of sin and restore righteousness and truth throughout all of creation. Because listen, end of story, Revelation 14, 8. And another angel following said, Babylon is fallen, Babylon is fallen, that great city, because she has made all the nations drink of the wine of their wrath and fornication. Yes. 
So we want to pray today again for righteousness and truth to start in Israel, in Jerusalem, and go from Jerusalem throughout all of the earth. Then people will put their faith in Yeshua. Please pray. Amen. So with that, I do say Lihitraot. Shalom from Jerusalem.